Anytime you need to know anything about anything, what do you do? You search it on Google, right? And oftentimes that search actually leads you to a YouTube video. So when it comes to needing to know what topics to talk about on YouTube, you could literally talk about anything. But before you just run out and make a random video, let's talk about strategy and how you actually decide what to talk about to grow a successful channel. In this video, I'm gonna go over how you pick your niche, how you can use YouTube as a marketing tool once you've decided what you wanna talk about. And then my amazing business partner, Ali, is actually going to go over how you can maximize your reach by using keyword research. So let's start by talking about how to pick your niche. Now, it's really important that you know you're already an expert in whatever it is that you wanna talk about. So you don't wanna to get too broad. You wanna pick something that you know a lot about and then stick with that. You don't wanna to do too many topics. So a common mistake that a lot of people make is that they'll try and do like, oh, I wanna do mindset and I wanna do real estate and I wanna talk about cars and I wanna talk about this and I wanna talk about that. And then it makes it really confusing as to what your channel is. So if you wanna do multiple topics, you're gonna to wanna to do multiple channels. You can kind of pick a broader topic, like let's say you do real estate and then from there you can pick little subjects within that to create playlists. So basically what you're able to do is you're able to widen your reach, but you're still staying on brand with that one subject that you're an expert in. If you're a business owner, obviously the thing that you're an expert in is you're going to talk about your business. So for example, if you sell life insurance, your main channel is going to be about life insurance, but you might talk about some other products that you sell. You might go into some money mindset type videos, but for the most part, you want to stay within that life insurance topic. By creating different playlists, it gives you the opportunity to show your audience exactly what they can expect within that playlist. So when they come to your channel, you want them to know like, hey, this is a life insurance channel. But when they look at the playlist, they know that they're looking for the right thing. If all they wanna know is about life insurance, have a life insurance playlist. If you wanna do something more on money mindset, then you can have a money mindset playlist. That way you're being really clear and direct with your audience about what they're going to get when they click on your video. So if you had a real estate channel, for example, you could have different playlists about flipping houses, about Airbnb, about how to invest. And this is going to give the ability to show the entire scope of your knowledge and your expertise so that people can see that you know exactly what you're talking about, but they're not confused about what type of video that they're getting because they're able to go through your playlist and they know exactly what they're going to get from you. So just like you as a business owner, don't just do one thing in your business. This is an opportunity for you to show people that I do all of these different things under this one umbrella. And that's what your channel's about. You may have wondered how people actually make money using YouTube. And what we do is we help people use YouTube as a marketing tool. So you have entertainment channels, right? And the way that they make money is by um, getting ad revenue from YouTube. So they get a lot of subscribers and then YouTube partners with them and then they make money off of that. But there's another way that business owners are actually able to make money. And let's talk a little bit about that. You can actually use YouTube as a way to gain leads. So what you do is you actually create content for people that would want to buy your products. And all you do is you give them value, value, value. You teach about whatever it is that your expertise is. And then at the end of the video, you give them some sort of call to action to bring them to your products, to your company and turn them into a lead. So a perfect example is my expertise is actually creating content and marketing online. Hence why I'm doing this video. And if you want to go a little bit deeper into how you actually market on YouTube, because I'm just doing a little bit of a touch here, you can actually check out this video. YouTube is a really great way to organically reach people, right? If you were using Facebook or Instagram, a lot of times you have to pay for ads in order to reach people. But the idea behind YouTube is that you put out evergreen content and evergreen just means that it can live on there forever, that the information that you're giving isn't going to change. You put that content out there and you're creating these little soldiers. These videos are these little soldiers that go out there and while you're sleeping, they are informing people about your product or your service and what you do and helping bring you leads to your company. If you're just starting a channel, that's super exciting. Ali and I have actually helped a lot of our clients over the years grow their channels using this exact strategy. You can totally get started the free way using you know, your phone to shoot and some free software to edit like iMovie 
But if you're looking for a done for you way, we have a team of amazing producers that can help you get started. All you have to do is click the link in the description below and we will make YouTube completely and totally easy for you. So again, as you're picking your niche, just think about something that you could talk about for hours and hours and hours that you feel like you're an expert at. If this is your business, obviously it's going to be whatever the product or services that you sell are about. Now that you know how to actually pick your niche, I'm going to send you over to Allie. She is the queen of keyword research and she is going to show you how you can find really searchable titles so that you can start making money faster. Hi, I'm Allie and co-founder here at Motormind Marketing Alliance. I'm going to help you today with some keyword research, especially if you're just starting out brand new. This is assuming you don't have any specialty software, although they do exist to help you with keyword research. We're going to start with your best tools, which are YouTube, Google itself, and then I have one little bonus one also to help you know where to even begin with your topic. Before I get started with Google and YouTube, which are two of the biggest search engines out there, I'm going to show you just this free little sampler that you can find online. It's called answerthepublic.com. And as you see from the site, discover what people are asking about. Topic that's on my mind, I'm just starting with one that's popular and something I need since I got a new puppy. And there, we love dogs around here, by the way, there's plenty of them. I'm going to look at um, train puppy. I'm just gonna use those two main things and see what people are asking about. Say I'm a dog trainer and I, I've been training dogs in my area, but now I want to expand out and see what this digital marketing is all about and create a course or a program. Train puppy. I know a lot of people need that help, so let's search. And this is going to generate a really cool graphic. And I don't know why, but they have this sunburst graphic and it just shows you all of the things. You can see this three dots here, it's generating it and then it comes up. And depending on how you like to get your data, this is the more visual way. I'm going to actually just do a screen record or a screen photo here so that I have a copy of that. So look, train puppy right here in the center. That's the main topic that I asked to that I mentioned. And then you've got all these important question words. How, when, why, where, what? all of these questions. So for example, on YouTube, YouTube is a really great place for how to videos. So I'm going to look at these here for how, how to train puppy to walk on leash, how to train puppy to pee outside, how to train puppy to be alone. I needed that today, how to train puppy not to bite. So these are some really great things right away that I want to double check and cross check with uh, YouTube. So let me go over to these other places. Um, first we'll do YouTube itself. And we're just gonna go to this top search bar. This is one of your best train puppy. We're gonna cross check what it says here in YouTube. This is showing you essentially the top things that are showing. And look, Answer the Public gave us a pretty good beginning place to start with. Train puppy not to bite. Train puppy, and then we've got, you know, that's the beginning keywords there. And then to do all these things, to walk on a leash, to come when called, to poop outside, to sit, stop biting, lay down. How to train puppy not to bite. So what I had here that I wrote down two of them, how train puppy uh, to be alone. I had to leave my puppy alone today, so I'm gonna look at that right now. Train puppy to be alone. And I'm looking at this as though I were actually a dog trainer, not someone looking for this. How many people out there are like me who want to know how to train puppy to be alone? So we have train puppy to be alone, alone without a crate, to be alone, sleep alone. So you have a few different things. I would write those down, each of those topics, and be prepared to probably address all of those questions because each of those represents probably thousands of people asking that question. I'm gonna follow this one, train puppy to be alone. And let's just look at the titles and things that come up. This is a great way if I were a dog trainer starting a new channel right now, this gives me a ranking. This is the top ranking video right now, how I trained my dog to be left alone in the house. So you're noticing the word train is in there. They change it to dog instead of puppy and alone. 
So it's not a perfect science in that you're not going to have the exact words. It doesn't matter because look at how great it is that YouTube understood your question and now has populated this page with all of these different ways to teach your puppy. Here's a great one. Number one thing to teach your puppy home alone training. So these are an example of the power of YouTube. This is going to go on for pages and pages still here. 717 views on this one. You can see the hierarchy essentially of different people posting. And what you want to do as you are creating your videos is just get started and don't overthink this too much. This is giving you an idea how to select some titles, what to talk about in your video, how to create your niche. You can see that you might want to do a video that says how I trained my puppy to be left alone while I'm gone. You can change that. The keywords are still intact. And then you might do another one that says how I trained my dog to be left alone while I'm at work. You can add extra words around your keywords. Uh, now let's just go to, I'm just going to open another tab, just plain Google. Just, I'm just going to Google it. Train puppy. See what Google gives us. Don't ever underestimate this right here. Train puppy to not bite, to walk on leash, not to bark and not to jump. So you're seeing that between Google and YouTube and answer the public, you have a lot of variety in different topics here. You have enough just based on going right over here again to answer the public. There's why questions, where, which, you have enough right here to do your first batch of videos right here. And then you can branch out. The nice thing about this, and we're gonna get right back to Alicia, is that um, you start on a vein and you just think how far you can go, you can answer that question, and then your audience and your viewers are gonna tell you what they're most interested in. So don't be afraid to start. I've given you three ways right now to just find a place to begin on training puppy videos as a dog trainer, and then Alicia's gonna get back to you on what else to do next. Congratulations, you're ready to pick your niche and get started researching titles so that you can start your first YouTube video. We're putting content out like this every single day, so make sure that you subscribe. And if you're looking for a great resource on how you can actually get started on your channel, we have a free course in the description box below. We're your video allies, you've got this, we've got your back, and we can't wait to see what you create.